What is going on guys? We're back with some more Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle videos on the Japanese version of Dokkan and I'm here today to answer a question. I've been getting a lot of questions, a lot of comments, a lot. Because if you don't know, the second year anniversary for JP is about to wrap up. We, we've had a lot of second year anniversary stuff and with the second year anniversary came a lot and I mean a lot of new players to the JP side of Dokkan Battle. Uh, there's a lot of hype, a lot of videos, a lot of everything, a lot of information about um, the JP side of Dokkan and people just jumped on the opportunity to download this game and play and get some Super Saiyan 4s. Now like I said, we have a lot of new people to the game, a lot of new people are asking me information that is out there but they might not know or they might not want to search for it. So I've been asked to do a video about how to use the ability system, the dupe system. Now if you don't know what the dupe or ability system is, I'm going to show you real quick what that is. This pretty much is the uh, dupe ability or system, whatever you want to call it. Uh, for this video, we're going to be calling it the dupe system because you do need dupes to access it. But I guess the correct term is the ability system because you gain abilities from this system. Yeah, so this is what it looks like, but we're going to start all the way from the first stage to what I just showed you because there's a process to get there, okay? First of all, there's actually an event you need to do in order to unlock the dupe system or the ability system. Now I'm going to show you what the event is. Now if you go into the event section of Dokkan, and uh, it's going to load. So we're just going to wait for it, uh, just a second, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, nope, it's not going to load. Wow. Uh, so we are in a bit of a stall meet right now. It should pop up. There we go. You have to go all the way down. Literally the last event on the bottom of everything. You have to do this event. Doing this event will give you access to it. So you have to do, you know, all of it. Um, the, clear the entire first stage, clear the entire second stage, okay? That is done. Once you do that, you need to be at least rank 50. Yes, you need to be at least rank 50, okay? Once you complete a stage and you are above rank 50, then you need to collect orbs, all right? So there's daily missions that gives you uh, different types of orbs every day. Today is, uh, what is today, uh, Wednesday? Well, today is Wednesday uh, for me, but it's Thursday in Japan. And Thursdays are the orb, are the strength orbs in Japan, but you know, for me it's Wednesday. So you have to, you have to do this. And uh, to date, because it's the second anniversary, I think they're having it uh, five times a day you can do it. So there's a bit of a limit. Um, the regular limit is three. But because of the second year anniversary stuff and everything they have going on, they've extended it to five. So for now, you can do it five times a day. I don't know how long that's going to last. I'm assuming till the end of the month, till the end of February. Then after that, it's going to go back to three times a day, which sucks. I don't like three times a day because you need a lot of orbs to unlock a lot of pots. And uh, I have a lot of characters that need specific orbs. So if I could do the event several times a day, then I could collect orbs for my several characters. Because three times a day doesn't really get you much, but whatever. So the, this is the stage you need to go to, uh, or the event to collect these orbs so you can use into the dupe system. Now the first guy here, the first guy, always the first guy, they give the small orbs, okay? The third guy here, they give the medium sized orbs, and then the last guy over here, which in this case is Frieza, gets the biggest size orbs, alright? So just for this video, I mean it doesn't really matter, but we're just going to go straight. Uh, we're going to go straight. And uh, yeah, if you land on these here, the little, uh, I guess, dark blue vortex things on the ground, they actually give you additional orbs as well, so you want to land on those. And typically, you want to pick the path that's going to give you the most orbs on the ground, because although I might pick the guy here that gives me the big orbs, if I get these little blue ones here, I could potentially get the medium and small ones as well. So yes, so these guys are easy, very easy to beat these guys, there's nothing difficult at all, you can bring any free to play team and you can wait them out very easily uh, so yes yeah, so you don't need to bring a mono AGL team to beat strength like I'm doing right now just for the purpose of the video to kind of speed things up a little bit because I don't want the video to be too too long um, yeah so we're just I'm locked in place so I'm just going to collect some orbs uh, and then we're going to beat them in no time and then I can actually show you the process of um, going into the uh, ability system and actually using the orbs to buff your characters now in the, uh, oh, oh, I thought we were going to super it out. In the ability system, um, you can buff the HP attack in defense of a character, okay? Along with that, you can get special abilities like additional attacks, critical hits. We'll get to that, okay? I'm going to show you that in a minute, all right? But let's wrap this up. So like I said, pretty easy. Uh, my roll is an SA1, so he's not going to hit too hard at all. Uh, don't crucify me. I just pulled him. 
I need to get some Kai's into him. I know, I know, I know, I know we got a world tournament going on. It should be dropping later on tonight. And I will be doing the world tournament to accumulate some more Elder Kai's. So, yes, guys. So, he will be at an SA 10 for sure shortly. So, you do that. You collect the ore from that specific boss. And like I said, each boss has different types, different size orbs, different type of orbs. And uh, we want to collect the ones on the ground. Like I said, you get different uh, types of orbs as well. The most common one on the ground is the small ones. And then the um, and then after that is a medium. And then the least common one is the bigger orbs. So that's why when I do this, I always go to the bigger orb boss because you literally will not find one of those bigger orbs on the ground. It's it's a very rare chance for to spawn. Uh, so yeah. So once you do that, oh, and let me add uh, with the map as well. Oh uh, well, we got a big one. There we go. We got a big one with the map as well. Uh, it's a rare chance to get another character to spawn. Like let's say um, you know, I don't even know um. Uh, the, the, the other freeze again like to go on them uh, they will spawn like let's say right here okay so if you see a character in the map that's kind of out of place that spawns go to him and beat him because he'll draw a hundred small orbs I think it's like 40 medium orbs and like 10 big orbs you want to beat that guy even if he's like here you want to skip the medium and the big boss in order to just get that character because he drops so many of all three types of orbs. So you definitely want to beat him. So you did the stage. You're rank 50. You got some orbs. So now we're going to go into the orb system so we can see what's going on and how we actually buff these characters up. And uh, like you said, I got a request to do this video. Uh, so this is, the pe this is for the people out there who want this type of information and want to understand uh, how to really use the ability system. Now, of course, everything's in Japanese, so I can't read Japanese. I'm just going based on translations and just me using the um, orb system since, since it's been out. So, you know, I might say one or two things that might be incorrect, so don't crucify me. Uh, but for the most part, I'm going to show you everything that we have going on or uh, everything that the orb system has going on. So... Uh, yeah, so you did all that, you unlocked the orb system, you have the orbs, whatever. So you want to now put a character through the orb system, okay? So for this video, I'm going to be using my Super Saiyan Blue Vegito as an example. So here he is. So I have my Super Saiyan Blue Vegito, okay? Um, now for me, I've unlocked quite a bit of uh, the orb system, as you can see. Well, you know, 46%. Uh, so you have four options, okay? You start in the middle, and you have four options on which way you can go. You know, some, some places, uh, some different sections will give you different abilities like if you come up here uh, you can get all the little mini ones you know you can get all these here and then you eventually hit like a little part where you need a dupe in order to unlock that portion that's where uh, the dupes of the same cards will come into play okay you technically need four of them to unlock the entire orb system I already unlocked this one here I already pulled one dupe and I actually have another dupe sitting on this account right now and I'm gonna use a dupe as an example in the video uh, but yes, yeah, so you need four dupes total to unlock the entire orb system to maximize your character, okay? Now, like I said, if you come up here, you can actually uh, click the star and you can see what, you know, the um, the star has to offer if you unlock that uh, node. So you can do initial attack. The double fist is an additional attack. Double fist, ha <laughs> uh, The double fist is an additional attack. Uh, the little, like, sprint there is dodge, so you can give your character a chance to dodge a normal or super attack. If you come over here, you see now there's a fist punching with like a bit of like an explosion. That's critical hit, okay? So you now can give your character a chance to do a critical hit. And uh, when you come and when he starts, you can pick either the uh, either one of the options, either the dodge in this case or the critical hit. Uh, you can pick one. And then same thing here, dodge or critical hit. Now every single character, no matter which character you pick, they have one of these abilities that you can get up to level 5 right off the bat. So that would be if you go to the up left and you get some ways here you're gonna see one of these abilities now in this case for physical it is double attack so physical unit they have the ability to do double attack even if you don't pull dupes because that is already there now if we use let's say intelligence for an example let's uh grab any it doesn't really matter grab any intelligence unit uh now for intelligence i believe is dodge yeah it's dodge so not every um not every type is going to get the same type of ability you know some so some other types will get crits, some other types will get uh, DAW, some other types will get um, additional attacks. Like I think Mono, I think AGL also get additional attacks as well. So, okay. So we now know which path we want to go to. Eventually you'll go through all the paths because you're going to be collecting orbs and whatnot. Uh, so now you're just going to use the orbs to then proceed. And uh, this is how you unlock, uh, you know, the abilities, get higher stats, HP, attack, and defense. 
Now the heart, as you can see, is HP, so I'm about to get a 50% HP up. Tells you the amount of orbs that you need in order to get that ability or get that uh, increase. So in this case, it's 10 small and it's 5 medium. So I go ahead and I click that and I get my additional HP up. The fist, of course, the red fist is attack. So same thing, you know, 25 attack up. I want that, yes. And of course, the little, uh, it looks like a bodysuit. Um, that is defense. So I want, I'm going to get 70 defense. But as you can see, as you go deeper into the brain, uh, uh, as you go deeper into one section, uh, it's going to require more orb. So this one now requires one small orb. And it also requires five additional medium orbs in order for me to get the 70 defense. So there we go. All right. So now that that's covered, what do we do with the dupes? You know, what do we do? Uh, how do you unlock them? And how do we go about, you know, getting additional abilities? Well, okay, let's say if you're in my situation, okay, you have a character, he's already a TUR, he's already awakened. You pull a dupe. The dupe, of course, is a base SSR. Do you have to awaken the dupe in order to use it? No, you don't, okay? If you exit out of this and you go into the Baba Shop, there's actually a reverse item that you can use to revert your character back to its original SSR form. I'm going to show you that also in the video, so stay tuned because um, they have a lot of events going on right now. So I'm going to have to do quite a bit of scrolling to get all the way down to the bottom. Uh, so yeah, JP, second year anniversary. Well, uh, currently, well, this is the hair, but I don't want to use my uh, second year anniversary coins. I want to use the actual Incredible gem. but I'll show you that when I get down to the bottom a bit. So in this case, you're gonna have to scroll, 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 get down to the bottom. You know, we have a lot of GT events going on. Uh, we have the second anniversary going on. So they have a lot of additional items that you can get in the Baba Shop. But uh, we want to get the one that is purchased with the incredible gem. Now, scrolling, 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 scrolling. My God, wow. Okay, here we go. Yes, here we go, guys. We're finally there. So. You want this item, okay? It only requires 30 incredible gems, which you can farm easily. Go to the last state of the story event and you can farm that. Like, I'll say two runs to get 30 gems. It's not difficult at all to get 30. You want to purchase one of those, okay? And uh, this is what you're going to use to revert your character back to the SSR form from a TUR, that is. Um, no, I don't want to go there. I don't want to do that. Uh, let me go back, please. Uh, let me, yeah, there we go. So if you look down at the bottom, we actually have two options. Uh, we have the um, the grand uh, the grand Namekian guy, whatever. Uh, next to him is a Wii section. You click the Wii section, okay? It gives you the option to revert one of your TURs back to the SSR form, and uh, all the URs that you have, all the TURs that you have, are here. So you just pick one. In my case, I want to use my Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. I want to revert him back to the SSR form, and it's going to go through the process of reverting their Dokkan Awakenings or whatever. And a pretty cool animation to see this. So the hourglass, and then you can see the, the sun going up instead of down, which is pretty cool. Uh, you're gonna see it in a second. And uh, yeah, mm -hmm. lit, lit, lit. look at that, that was pretty cool. And I was gonna say reverse. So there we go, so that's how you reverse your character. So now with your character reverse, you can now use the dupe of that TUR or that character to then feed into the dupe system, all right? So we go back into the ability system, the dupe system, and now we have a character. So now we have to pick which node we want to unlock to get additional abilities. Now, I want to note something. This one here, if you go down to the right on the bottom, to get these abilities, you need to be at an SA-10, okay? This one is considered, okay, this one's considered like God, like a, a God mode type of character because this will give you some very OP advanced skills. Like for instance, you know, you can get up to like five, 600 health here, um, you know up to 200 additional defense, so you need to be an SA 10 to unlock this section But if you don't have a character in SA 10 you can go up left and These up here require you to be an SA 1 You know you don't need to be at any SA actually to get these abilities and same thing with these here as well You don't need to be at a certain SA to get the other ones only this one require you to be an SA 10 all right now based on what I know you can look at these you can look at the four sections um, this one is like um, I, I guess you can say um uh, it's, I don't even know how to put it. Uh, okay, let's start at the bottom, okay? Okay, this section here is like getting more defense, if you want to get more defensive. This section here, I believe, this is uh, more healing, is it? Um, wait, is this healing? Uh, let me just take a look at this star here. Um, yeah, so this is like defense and healing. This is uh, dodge. No, this is super attack and 
this will allow you to be able to um I guess you know hit the opponent harder uh, this here is like an all-rounder one where you can get additional ones um, several times I believe uh, there's different names for each section I don't know the names but you know just pick uh, the one that you want the ability on the most and then you go with that so I already had this one unlocked so I'm gonna have to pick one of the other ones now I'm debating right now uh, do I want to increase this is pretty much defense the thing that's wrong with Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta is that he's not a defensive unit he cannot take hits so this would actually benefit him because you can actually get a lot of health over here and uh, you can get quite a bit of defense as well look at that, like 100 defense you know 200 defense uh, yeah over here although you get a lot of abilities you know the stats aren't that big you know like 35 attack you know 15 attack uh, you know it's what, what is this this is like can I click this can I like uh, let me zoom in can I click this uh, yeah 35 attacks so you don't get big stats from this section this literally will only give you the abilities I already have my Vegito doing additional attacks doing critical hits and although I can increase them I want him to tank better because that's literally the only thing that's wrong with this unit he needs to learn how to tank more hits okay so I'm going to unlock this section down here because I want him to have higher defense and I want him to be able to take hits better so we're gonna go ahead and do this um, yeah and uh, I have my dupe lock just gonna go ahead and click that you can click the dupe from that section unlock the dupe and then you can go ahead and proceed click the dupe you want to click yes and that will unlock that path for you to go into so you can get the abilities okay now I guess you can go ahead and do that just for the sake of this video giving you guys the example um, yes so we are continuing all the way down We're gonna go all the way down just for the sake of the video to give you guys an example of what this entire thing is about uh, so as you can see I'm collecting health attack and defense up and uh, the deeper in you go uh, to the certain path, you're gonna get a bigger increase of defense, attack, and health. I, I think you've seen uh, the workings of that already. Um, so we're almost there. We are almost there. And I'm, I have one more thing to explain. I'll explain that, I guess, at the end of the video. Um, I should have explained in the beginning to you know really give you guys uh, more sense of what's going on. But um, yeah, we're gonna explain it in a second. So once you get this, you know, that's 100 defense that I can get which makes my Super Saiyan Blue Vegito a bit more tankier, which is what he needs. Like I said, he lacks the ability to tank and take hits, really. Now, okay, let's look at this real quick, all right? So you see these abilities here? You know, you have, um, you know, the blue guy with his arms crossed. Uh, you have this uh, green head looking thing. Uh, you have this, which looks like a white, you know, Kamehameha type of thing. Each of these pretty much do a different thing, okay? This increases the power of the super attack. It doesn't increase the super attack number like you're not going to go to from SA1 to SA2 to SA3 no this increases the amount of damage you do with the super attack that's all it does okay this one I believe um it makes you uh wait what does this one do it makes you take less damage from the opposite okay hold on hold on what does this one do okay I'm thinking alright I don't know how to word this properly it makes you take less damage from the stronger um character like okay in this example strength is strong is physical okay this makes me take less damage from strength units all right that's what it does from from what i know and uh this one here it makes you heal more per orb you collect because now if you collect orbs um you can heal uh the specific type of orb for that unit if you do this one you can heal more per orb you collect all right so that's what's going on so we're gonna continue and uh yeah so like i say i mean Everything I'm saying is based off of translations, and we know translations sometimes can be a bit wonky. So, if something was translated incorrect and I say in the video, then don't crucify me because I'm just going based on the translations. I can't exactly, like I said, speak Japanese. So, I'm just going to have to go based on what people translate. And uh, if the translations are correct, then that information that I gave you is correct as well. But when the English version come out for our English global players, I mean, even though I play JP, I'm also an English uh, player as well then we can actually read and see what's going on with the dupe system or the ability system 100% so I get all the way here and uh, I'm almost at the section the star that I want so that I'm able to unlock abilities which is very nice and uh, like I said typically now I have two options okay I can pick um, to heal more which is the head there or I can pick to be more defensive against the uh, the, the type that is strong against me which is strength I want that ability because I want to be able to tank better, I want to take less damage when I get hit. So I'm going to go with that. 
and uh, that's gonna require you know 20 small 10 medium and one big so we're gonna hand do that and uh, that's pretty much what you do okay um, yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you the entire process I know this is very long this is a very lengthy video this has a lot of information this is probably very boring to some of you guys this information doesn't pertain to you then I apologize but some people were asking me about this and I'm just trying to give the people what they want uh, trying to help people Trying to help anyone who wants any type of information although the videos are out there in order how to do this i thought why not because i might have some subscribers on my channel that don't exactly watch other youtubers maybe uh so yeah and uh just gonna get all the rest of these abilities here uh get everything and uh i'm working on getting these super tack ups so i'm gonna get this as well but keep in mind you want to save some orbs for other characters as well because I'm sure you have other physical units or other strength or ability, whatever orbs you're using for that type that you also want to increase the stat sub. So be sparing of your orbs. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Alright? So once you do everything, you use your dupe, you get your abilities, you get everything you want to revert your character back to the TUR form. We exit out of the deep system, go back into the Wii section. On the bottom there where you have the uh, singular one with the you know arms going up with like the rainbow colors and whatnot. That's where you revert your um, reverse characters. Now in this case I only have one reverse character which is Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. I want to revert him back to his TUR form. I click that, it gives me the option and boom, I can revert him. There's no issue. His defense is high, he's almost at 8,000. Wow, that's exactly what I want. That's what he needs, man. He needs to be able to take hits, yo. Uh, so very nice, very cool, very freaking amazing. And uh, yeah, that's, that's it there. That's pretty much the entire ability system in one video. So very long, very lengthy, a lot of detail, everything that I just covered, pretty much what it is. And uh, yeah, if, I mean, if you go to your character, like you know, like I'm going to do right now, uh, click your character. Uh, we're going to go all the way down to our Super Saiyan Blue Vegito since he's been the example of the video. Um, let's click him wherever he is and then we can actually see uh, the amount of HP attack and defense that we've been given the unit from using the ability system. And if we go down, we can see the abilities he has, you know, in my case, additional attack, critical hits, you know, super attack buffs and everything else. So, yeah, that's what's going on. So, pretty much, that's it there, guys. Uh, so, that is everything that you need to know about the ability dupe system. So, hopefully, this video has been helpful to you guys. Uh, hopefully, you've uh, taken information out of this that you didn't know before. Uh, hopefully, I got in all the information across. Hopefully, I didn't leave any points. So, I don't think I did. I pretty much everything. So thank you for watching the video. If you want anything explained, if you want anything uh, you know in detail about, you know, in a video format, let me know as a comment down below. Guys, do the best I can to answer for you. So please like, share, comment. Once again, like I said, see you next time. Bye bye.